Hello, I'm Simon. This is a quick look on Auto Contacts. So, what is Auto Contacts? Auto Contacts is a plugin that lets you query your information from your phone's contacts, like the phone number, the address, the email address, birth date, and so on. Let's begin, as always, with opening Auto Contacts, the app itself. So, here are several things to do. The first one is refreshing contacts. If you're adding new contacts to your phone, you need to refresh auto context database. So just click on that and it will scan all contacts and it will refresh its own built-in database. You could also do this automatically with a task a task, but I'll show you that later. Now you can manage your contacts. You can set nicknames for your contacts so that you don't have to type in the full name. If you want to perform a query on that contact, then you could only type that nickname. Or if that nickname is used by another app and you grab the text from another app, you can then enter that nickname. You can check the checkbox here, phone numbers only, if you only want contacts in the database that have phone numbers. And you can manage the dates if the dates from the contacts are correct. And then, as always, FAQ and logs and so on, and that's all inside auto contacts let's head over to tasker auto contacts only has actions so you don't have any profile conditions for auto contacts you can only execute auto contacts actions and only queries or database updates so let's create a new task and call it test contacts Add a new action and add plugin auto contacts. And now auto contacts. You then could check the refresh checkbox to automatically refresh your database at night, for example, or you can fill in query information like a name. Let's fill in my name. Hit done and that's all. You could also uh, fill in a phone number if you want to query a phone number and so on. Just save that, go back. Now you query for every contact that has the name Simon Hoffman in it. If you then add a flash, you'll easily see all the variables you now get after that query is performed. You'll get the contact ID, the Hangouts URL, video URL, the name, the nickname, the phone number, the type of the phone number, whether it's mobile or home or work, the mail address and so on, all those different fields. And let's now display phone number type for my contact and run. And as you'll see, you get an error message as this contact isn't available in my contact database because I didn't put myself into my contacts. I now changed the name of the contact and if you then press play you'll see mobile as I have a mobile number from that contact saved. So then you could add also auto contacts details. It's under plugins auto contacts and then details. And this will give you the path of the image from that contact, where the image is located, so you then could use it in custom notifications or custom screens and so on. You therefore need a contact ID, ACID, um, which you'll get from the auto contact query, and then you'll get the picture. Here, get the picture, get the picture at full size, and let's check both. Hit save again, go back, and if you then add a flash again you'll see on the context details path of the file that contains a profile picture so that's all on the quick look on auto contacts as always leave me questions feedbacks and new apps in the comments down below and see you in the next video thanks for watching